So he's an incredible guy. And uh, basically, he goes by the name of Poet Abraham. Put your hands together for Poet Abraham. Yeah, my name is Ibrahim Sadiq, a.k.a. Poet. Stands for putting out eternal thought. Um, so, today, Friday? Yeah, Friday. Um, Wednesday, this past Wednesday, um, my uh, debut album dropped. You know, Spoken World. So, um, and with that... That album um, started something that's been in the making for a long time, something I refer to as the, um, the Freedom Movement, um, F-R-E-E-D-U-M-V. And basically what that means is, um, in, to in today's society, for one to um, believe we are 100% free, you have to be sort of naive, you know, and um, it's my job to educate, because I feel education is the first step to emancipation. And you have to, because um, you have to be aware in, o in order to be free, you have to you have to know, you have to be aware of what's holding you captive, and basically that's the whole gist of that. I don't know. Um, I even, I was planning on doing something different, and I, at the last minute I changed on what I was gonna do. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> if I was a poet, I let everyone know it. I let my soul spill onto the page, into the whole world. I'd show it. I'd cook up some food for thought and put you on an ignorance diet, I instigate intellectual riots, I speak for those who otherwise I'm spoken for, who opportunity doesn't knock, but when they knock, the door doesn't open for. If I was a poet, I'd write a love poem to touch your heart. Then when you let down your guard, I'd spit a political poem that'll rip it apart, I'd say my words on the corner like dealers pitching crack rocks and crack spots, let you know it ain't a race thing, cause we also getting killed by black cops, F the haves, ain't no such thing as a have not, just a have not now, cause if you put your mind to it, you can do it. If I was a poet, I'd show you how. If I was a poet, I'd be a spoken word superhero. And each day I condemn a cliche till they, long, till they no longer existed. I let my words rush up against your ears till they spark no ideas from the friction. If I was a poet, I'd make you listen. And understand my words when you read them, you do more than see them. They're so intense that even the deaf can hear them. And it'd be like music to your ears. My words would be so fierce, they conquer your fears. If I was a poet, <laughs> I'd make most poets want to retire. I'd inspire. I could inspire with your heart to free your mind. If I was a poet, I'd try to save the world with every line. But I am a poet, so all in due time. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick, uh, um, this one um, I have to do. It's Black History Month, so yeah, I have to do this one. <clears throat> I got a question to ask, but if you're standing you may want to sit down first. Think of this one. What if slavery was a verse? I want you to think about it. Reflect and then take another look. What if that shoe of oppression you wear for so long? You saw me on the other foot. I'm just trying to stimulate thought, but I don't think I'm saying anything that you ain't already asked yourself. They got us feeling like we got to cover up who we are. You're probably wearing a mask yourself. See, if slavery was a verse, you wouldn't know names like Malcolm X or Dr. Martin Luther King, you see? That would actually be a good thing. Because they wouldn't have lost their lives fighting for our civil rights. Instead of be the whites that were in a fight. If there was no such thing as the KKK, then you wouldn't know victims like Emmett Till. Although many people don't know who he is still. You wouldn't have his mother screaming to leave the casket open so you can see what they did to a baby. If slavery was a verse, I dare any white kid to talk to a black lady. And slavery wasn't that far away if my grandmother's great-grandmother was a slave and my grandmother's great-grandmother today. See, when I think about slavery and being reversed, I count the date. As a mulatto, I kind of have it the worst. Because even though I'm in the middle, I group more towards the minority. With the roles of switch, I'll be affiliated with the newly oppressed former majority. You follow me? And I count the thing. Would the hood be painted with white faces? And would all my niggas still be catching these court cases? And would it even be an issue with nigga? Because it means the word black. So if it was switch, there'd be no need to have to flip that. No matter how much things change, they stay the same. <coughs> you went from being in the Senate to Kings, to the Senate to slaves. Prison. It's like slavery. Same story, just a modern day tale. But if a switch, will blacks will make out the population of jails, indicted on crack sales, or would they be at a Fortune 500, some young executive, instead of catching three felonies consecutive for C? You can't blame everything on oppression. You can't blame everything on historic shortcomings. We wasn't always blindsided. A lot of stuff we saw coming. With the change, it starts with an army of one. You know how they say, one day, shall overcome.
have too much time. <clears throat> this one's called Poetic Soul. I'm forever protected as long as words are my weapons. I'm effortless with my cleverness. I got an arson if you ever disrespected us. I'm a wordsmith, connecting concepts like letters when they in cursive. My lines at the twine will rhyme so far ahead of your time that your soul has trouble keeping up with my mind. So you gotta be kidding me, trying to get rid of me with my metaphors and similes? Confine your existence to an epitome. I take your pain as firmly tattooed and molded to a poetic statue. I'm that true. This stimulation has a poetic statue of limitation. Well, I'm too clever to not last forever. My words are addictive, more potent and dope. It lingers in the air, call it secondhand hope. My competition is missing, better yet non-existent. Listen, I'm the very definition of truth. The constant repetition of my vision is proof. I got poetic genetics, my lyrical kinetics at fault. But it's for hope, but it's poetic assault. I was born ready on the first day, dropping jewels like confetti with the wordplay. I write so my feelings don't build up like mildew. Sticks and stones will break your bones, but these words are damn near kill you. At the same time, they'll heal you, rebuild you. Now you're stronger than ever. I last longer than forever. I'm greater than better. I mean, better than great. I'm the greatest you guess. I'm the best of the best. No need to protest. I'm better than the rest. I confess. <clears throat> Lines deeper than space and time, but to be honest, I just say what's on my mind. And it just happens to rhyme. Yeah, um, no step price, that's the donation. Maybe after the next